Hey gang, Poppy here. And this is the sketches of my next project. You got that? Okay, now, here is the victim. Hold it in the left hand so you can see. Can you see? You just barely see the two little crosses I put way out here. I'm going to drill and perhaps tap also. It's either going to be clearance drill for a 256 screw or it's going to be tapped for a 256 screw. There and there. This is so. Ah. Something perfect. You're machining this shallow pocket, but it's large in diameter. You've got these two tooling studs, measuring surfaces, they're cylindrical. Seven thirty seconds diameter each. A little under half an inch when closed, right? Anyway, they're here and here, and you go much easier for that rounded contact surface to get a good reading in here than it is for these beaks. Chirp, 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 beak. Everyone, almost everyone's run across that problem. I'm going to make the appliances attachments, new measuring animals, cylindrical measuring features, however you want to call it. I'm going to make them put them on here. I'm going to make them out of bronze. Yeah, I know, I'm not making them out of steel. Boo hoo, wah wah wah. Carbon fiber reinforced black plastic. The bronze is overkill already. I should make it out of some of the white Delrin I've got left over. Machine's really, really nice and it's a good, firm, non bending surface. But I'm going to do it in bronze. I mean, this is only the Proof of concept. Once I like the concept, maybe I'll get some hardened metal tooling features made up and do it to an old pair of uh, or cheap digital calipers, you know. Thirty, forty dollar Chinesium digital calipers. Prototype. Then I start shopping around Mitutoyo and Sterrett and all those other companies that make calipers and say, hey, look at what I made. Start licensing now. Anyway. Because partner in crime makes me sound like a bad influence. <laughs> I'm not a bad influence. I'm a good influence. I'm just a bad example. Good night from California. <laughs>